In this last video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a couple of things. The first one is going to be working on our same file as in the previous video, number three. We have a file where there's a few rows and a few columns, and we want to add up some values, but instead of adding all the values in each row, as we did in the previous video, we're going to be adding alternating values. So we're going to add 3 plus 23 and display the result. So element zero, element two, in this case. Okay, so let's have a look at the file. We start, same as earlier, define the path and the file name, and then we're gonna send it to my sum. We go to my sum. So in this case, we open the file, we read each line in the file, and we put that using the method split we put that into a list that will have as many elements as different values are on each row or each line of the file. We initialize the sum to zero because we want to do this per row. And we're gonna have another for loop that is gonna go over. And this is gonna be slightly different to the previous exercises we did. So in here, for each j, G, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. In and here, we need to use the function range because we're going to be having a step size or an increment value, and we need to use that with the index value. So instead of iterating over each element in J, we're going to be iterating over the indices of those values. So range from zero till the end of J, len of J, all the values in J, but with a step size of two. So we start at zero, the next value we look at is two. The next value, if it existed, would be four and so on. And then our calculation for adding the values is the same. We just use in here, JG. We print the result and that's going to give us a value for each row that's going to be lower than the previous one because we're only adding every second value in our file. Okay, and we're going to close the file, which I forgot to do in the previous exercises. We close the file, that means we release the memory that was used up by having that file, access to that file. And the second thing that I put into this exercise is how to create a new file name to basically create a new file. So we're going to create our new file name is mynewfile.txt. We're going to open that file with our OS path join path in the same place as the other files. File name 2 and we use a for appending values to it. And then we can write values. H is the name of that new file being opened. So we're gonna say h.write. And then we send some strings into that file. Okay, so if we run this file, we're getting the values 26, you can see here for easy calculation, 3 plus 23 is 26. You can see how we are adding every second value, one for each of the rows. Okay, and we can also check that our file, my new file, has been created and it has these values here 84 space 23, the first time. I'm First time I run it, then 84, 20, space 23, second time, then 84, space 23, the third time, and 84, space 23, the fourth time I run it, and there's a couple of spaces in there. Okay, so with this, we finish our small introduction, four videos on how to access values in a file and use for loops to do calculations with them either per row or per column or using alternating values and how to write into a file. I hope this was helpful.